Some questions come up about rack and pinion selection for C10 pickups and uh, what rack to use and how to mount it, how high to mount it. Uh, I'm going to try to explain very quickly uh, what some of the considerations are and why this has proven so difficult over the years. Uh, what you're looking at here in this drawing is the, the blue lines represent the uh, uh, or the blue circles represent the control arm shafts. This is the lower control arm shaft and the upper control arm shaft on both sides. So upper control arm shaft and lower control arm shaft. These blue lines are a line that you need to, to be cognizant of and uh, always have in mind when looking at where the rack is going to be mounted and what rack you're going to use. This green line is a rough estimation of the uh, factory and if you go measure the one on your C10 you should find that it's about 27 and 3 quarter inches from center to center I think and the, its mounting height which is higher than the lower control arm shafts positions it so that it's at a corresponding place on the, that hypothetical line between the upper and lower control arms. This provides for a tie rod radius that runs from here out to the steering arm that will uh, stay parallel to the lower control arm and not impose bump steer as the uh, spindle is moved up and down and the control arm is moving through its arc. If you change the length of the rack and you go longer than this and the tie rods get shorter, which often happens um, with the, some of the larger rack replacements that people have used out of some late models, then you wind up with a, a really short tie rod and that sweeping arc of the tie rod can impose a terrible bump steer uh, it'll be very sudden and very quick acting and uh, you, you may not even recognize what its symptoms are but you'll just notice occasionally that you'll hit a bump you won't even really notice the bump but all of a sudden the truck is going to try to dart to one side or the other um, the alternative to that is and what we see most often is people are using racks that are too short uh, this red line represents a Mustang Pinto rack which is about uh, 20 five and three quarter inches or 24 and a quarter inches something like that those are too short and result in a really long tie rod which can uh, also impose a penalty with bump steer but it's not as severe as the short tie rod so many people live with this and never even realize that they've actually downgraded their steering performance by stepping away from factory the trick here is if you uh, if you look at the mounting height I'm going to try to do this through the camera forgive me here if you look at the mounting height and you move the rack up or down you get more and more severe off that line and and so the, that's why the mounting the rack at the proper height is is a very big consideration you can bring the Mustang racks down and minimize the influence of that problem but you can only get so low because at some point the um, the actual lower control arm shafts would be in the way of the rack's operation and you can't have that. So when you find yourself kind of in this area, we can look at the center link to know what uh, the ideal rack length should be if we mount it at the same height as the center link. It's going to be 27 and 3 quarter inches. Uh, Mustang Pinto being too short are uh, um, really just not ideal. I don't know of anyone that's actually man has a manufactured rack off of an OE application we can just go and grab off the shelf. I believe uh, No Limit Engineering is taking some late model Silverado racks and machining them to get to a length similar to this, but otherwise we're kind of stuck with this, this Mustang Pinto which is too short. Um, the uh, T-Birds, I think 82 to 88, like the Turbo Coupe and stuff like that, are supposed to have a favorable rack, but I don't know the dimensions on it for sure. So be mindful of that. And then when you do get the rack mounted, um, give some thought to uh, the tie rod angles. Uh, ideally, you want to always keep those tie rod angles where they match the uh, lower control arm so that when things are going up and down, those things stay parallel. One of the things that we rarely consider when we are uh, um, lowering our trucks, if we use drop spindles, we don't affect this stuff at all. But if we... Uh, um, use drop springs or drop lower control arms then we can create an issue where we wind up with tie rod angles that look like this and that would in, impose a pretty significant bump steer um, if we didn't address it 
this is one of the reasons why when when we uh, install a drop you know four to five inches on the front suspension we get two to three inches out of the spindle and then for that extra two inches we will uh, um, use the spring but we will come to the steering arms and we will uh, use a tapered reamer to cut a new seat in the the lower side of the steering arm and we'll flip the tie rods to the bottom in order to alleviate some of that bump steer consideration that comes from from the steering arm moving in relationship to the center link. Same considerations go on with a rack and pinion and when you talk about a bump steer kit what you're usually talking about is a spacer and bolt that replaces the outer tie rod end that allows you to set that tie rod angle without being overly concerned where the steering arm is in the big picture of things. So I hope that helps a little bit. Um, in, in any case, when you're looking for a steering rack, consider this length. And I would love to hear from anyone that ever finds an off-the-shelf rack that is the, the correct length for these C10s. Uh, in my opinion, it's going to be upwards of 28 inches in length. Uh, you may get into oil pan considerations when you get up in here. I'm just going to do a quick and dirty uh, estimation here. That's probably the highest the rack would ever be mounted. Um, and so uh, that's 30 inches. I think we'll be looking for racks <clears throat> that are between 27 and 30 inches in length. I just don't know where they are. Uh, the the uh, Mustang Pinto are, are shorter and, and I'm not sure where the T-Bird falls. So I hope that helps.